गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विथ चैप्टर थ्री एंड वी विल टॉक अबाउट द टॉपिक लेटर बट चैप्टर थ्री लेटर्स रिकॉल सम फैक्ट्स विच यू हैव नोन फ्रॉम आर्लियर क्लासेस ओके आई बी अपलोडिंग द नोट्स ऑन कैंपस केयर यू प्लीज राइट डाउन द नोट्स फ्रॉम दियर फ्रॉम हियर यू विल copy the figure as example one one figure you draw as example with the notes there i have not drawn the figures only the note part i have given wherever a figure is required you draw the figure along with the notes it will be uploaded on campus care so let us first see okay i have drawn something what do you call it some may say ma'am a wave a curve a zigzag line okay all of you are correct okay now if i draw like this then what will you say some might say ma'am it's a line it's a line segment okay yes you are correct in that manner also but if i can call it as a curve then this will also be called as a curve surprise well what is a curve then any figure drawn on a plane so this board is a plane here so any figure which can be drawn on a plane without lifting pen or pencil is called a curve so have you noticed when i was drawing this line i did not lift my marker while i drew this curve i did not lift my marker so anything which i draw without lifting with what i am drawing if i if i don't lift it then whatever i draw can be called as a curve now i have drawn this as a curve this as a curve this as a curve this as a curve this is a curve this is a curve right all are curve now let us understand what is open curve a curve that does not end at the starting point like i started here but i went somewhere else i did not finish at the starting point this one i started here and i went and stopped here this one i started here and went here so these are all what open curve if i draw something like this this is a open curve because i started from here and i finished here so this is a open curve i hope i am clear a curve that does not end at the starting point is called an open curve then what is a closed curve a curve that begins and ends at the same point like this one you see i started it here and then i finished it here like this so this is a closed curve this one i started from here and i finished it here closed curve i started from here and i closed it here so closed curve um i started here and i finished off here so this is a closed curve clear now what is a simple closed curve a simple closed curve is a curve a closed curve which does not intersect itself at any point is called a simple closed curve so since we are discussing about closed curve now since this is not a closed curve this is not a closed curve this is not a closed curve i am just um, removing this so that you can be more clear about what we are going to do now we are discussing about closed curve so this is closed 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 this is again not closed isn't it so now so closed curve we are having so what is a simple closed curve a closed curve which doesn't intersect itself at any point is called a simple closed curve children see here when i was drawing this i intersected while going i intersected so that means this cannot be called as a simple closed curve here you see i started from here i went 
here I am not intersecting the previous drawings. So this is a simple closed curve. This is a simple closed curve. Can we call this as a simple closed curve? No, because I am intersecting, I am overlapping with this line. So is this a simple closed curve? Yes. Is uh, this a simple closed curve? Yes, because here none of the points are overlapping or cutting any of the lines. Clear, all of you? Now, so you have understood what are curves, open curve, closed curve, simple closed curve. Now, let us discuss about simple closed curve made up of line segments. So what did I say? We will discuss simple closed curve made up of line segments. Like suppose this. This is a, okay, I have drawn with hand, so it has become a little bit curved, but this is a straight line, okay? So simple closed curve. This is a simple closed curve. This is a simple closed curve. This is a simple closed curve. Yes, but you observe in this simple closed curve. All this simple closed curve are made up of line segments. Can you see these are made up of all line segments? I have not used any curve here. These are all line segments. So any simple closed curve made up of line segments are called as polygons. You don't have to write anything from here. I have already um, uploaded the notes on campus here. So this type of simple closed curve made up of line segments is called a polygon. Now, uh, which is the polygon having the minimum number of sides? Yes, triangle. You might have guessed few of you. Yes, so simple a polygon with minimum number of sides so if i draw with two line segments is it closed no as soon as i join it it becomes closed and this becomes a triangle so polygon having the minimum number of sides is a triangle having three sides with four sides well some of you might be thinking square rectangle well, it is a part of that, but not entirely what answer we are looking for. A polygon made up of four line segments is called a quadrilateral. With five sides, pentagon. Six sides, hexagon. Seven, heptagon. Eight sides, octagon. Nine sides, nanogon. 10 sides, decagon. Clear? Then what about a polygon having 16 sides? How we will call them? We will call them a 16 gun polygon or 16 gun. Okay, a polygon having 16 sides. 16 sided gun. Actually, we call it that way. Now, so in this chapter, we will talk about the polygon that is quadrilateral that is a polygon having four line segments so we are going to do the topic understanding quadrilaterals we will learn about the properties of quadrilaterals different type of quadrilaterals okay and a little bit about other polygons also now let us come to another definition now this is our quadrilateral now, if I join the opposite vertex, what do you call it? We call it as a diagonal. All of you, do you agree? Yes. So, in a triangle, do, have you ever heard that we have a diagonal? No. So, here in a quadrilateral, how many diagonals we are drawing? Two diagonals. So, how can we define a diagonal? So, diagonal, we can define like this, a line segment joining non-adjacent vertices of a polygon is called a diagonal. Now, few of you might have forgotten what are adjacent 
mm, angles and non-adjacent angles. Angles which share the same side are called adjacent angles and the one which does not share a common side are called opposite angles. So diagonal is a line segment which is uh, joining non-adjacent vertices. So from here, if this is adjacent vertex, I cannot join here, isn't it? I cannot join here, but I can join the opposite vertex. Here also you see, this has non-adjacent vertex. So if I take a pentagon, now I take from here, from here can I join this vertex? No, from here, yes. From here, yes. So how many from here? No. So you see the non-adjacent vertices when I join them with a line segment like from here I can join this. From here I can join this. Again from here I can join this. Yes or no? So, and here it is already joined. So when we join the non-adjacent vertices of a polygon those line segments are called as diagonals.